When you think of the NBA's best passers, guys like Luka Doncic, Tyrese Halliburton, Josh Giddy, and LeBron probably come to mind. These players all have one pass in common they continue to make that proves they can read the game at an elite level. Let's try a little test to evaluate where your basketball IQ currently stands. As Luka comes off the ball screen here, which pass do you think will get his teammate an open shot? Is it A, the lob to Dwight Powell, B, corner skip pass to Kyrie, or C, the lift to Reggie Bullock? If you chose B, you would be correct, and that is a pass that high IQ passers make all the time. Let's break it down. So why does Kyrie get the wide open shot? Well, as Luka comes off the ball screen to his right hand and Powell rolls to the basket, he is reading that the weak side help defender, Tyrese Maxey, has come too far in to protect against the lob, so the corner skip is wide open. Luka easily makes the one-handed pass with his right hand. In this next clip, Tyrese Halliburton attacks left off of the Miles Turner middle ball screen, and right as he turns the corner, he is reading that Kenyon Martin Jr. is moving into the paint, which opens up the bullet pass to a wide open Aaron Neesmith for a three. Here, Halliburton rejects left, and very early on in this play, you can tell that Luka is going to be out of position when he runs into the paint, leaving Neesmith open in the far corner. In classic Halley fashion, he delivers a ridiculous 360 dime for another splash. As Lamelo rejects the ball screen right, notice AJ Griffin's positioning at the start of the drive, and then as Lamelo gets deeper, Griffin is now out of position with two feet in the paint, leading to the easy hook pass to Bryce McGowan's for the catch and shoot. Even before coming off the Plumlee ball screen, Corey Kispert's positioning is screaming to a high IQ passer like Lamelo Ball that the opposite corner will be open. Kispert does well here by moving out with the pass, but he started the play too far into the paint for it to make a difference on the PJ Washington three. Giddy is another extremely high IQ passer, and as he comes off to his dominant right hand, Kawhi is so out of position that it makes it easy for Giddy to whip the ball to the corner for the wide open Lou Dort deep ball. In one of my recent professional games, as I come off the uphill ball screen heading to my left, I notice the weak side back man has moved too far in, and I sling it across my body to the corner for a shot or closeout opportunity. However, making the right read isn't always easy. Here as I attack the side ball screen going right, I am first reading whether or not the weak side back man is too far in, but I fail to notice the defense is out of position on the strong side of the play and that my teammate is actually wide open for a wing three. I also make the wrong read on the weak side, mistakenly trying to hit my big when the far corner was the right pass. This leads to a turnover. Luka is a much better player than me, so he immediately notices that Kobe White has shifted too far into the paint, seemingly miscommunicating with Patrick Williams, leaving Reggie Bullock on an island in the corner for three. There is a reason Luka is so good, and he has this uncanny ability to make it look like he's going up with a floater off the pick and roll, faking out the defense just to sling it to the corner with one hand at the last second so Tim Hardaway Jr. can take the practice shot. Again, notice how this little fake by Luka completely freezes CJ McCollum into thinking he is going up with a shot. Hardaway Jr. is lucky he gets to play with Luka Doncic. LeBron isn't a bad passer either. And as he rejects right, you can see Brunson start to zone up to take the roll, but Grimes doesn't shift down to guard two, making the zip pass to Schroeder an easy read. LeVar must have done something right, because the Ball brothers can really pass. Here, as Lonzo attacks off the ball screen to his right, he notices Terrence Ross out of position and makes the beautiful jump pass to Troy Brown Jr. I can't be the only one who had a coach that said to never jump when I pass. Of course, CP3 is a dimer too, and he notices Aaron Wiggins running in off the far corner, which is like telling a chef how to make scrambled eggs. Also, I played him in high school. Wiggins, obviously, not CP. These passes aren't always going to be on the move. Here, Giddy gets stood up by Clay, but has the court sense to know Draymond helped a little too far in, leading to a Jalen Williams 3. Hey, I lost to that guy in the NCAA tournament. Simons does a good job cutting off Giddy's drive, but because of the Eugene Omarui pin screen, he is still able to pass over the defense and hit Isaiah Joe. Where do the Thunder find these guys? Also, I lost to Anthony Simons in high school. Chris Paul comes off the 8 in ball screen to his right here and comes to a complete stop in the paint, not even really a threat to score, just to throw a cross court for the Damian Lee open 3. In the Patriot League Championship game, I had a similar play driving left where I got cut off and noticed there were two guys guarding me. My teammate Ollie got back behind the 3 point line and I found him from the splash. Ollie throws up a clean Selly as he runs back down the court. And then there are plays like this that only about 5 players on the planet can make. The rest of us just have to sit back and thank the basketball guy so we get to watch 10 more years of Luka Magic. So I know what you're probably thinking, what if that corner pass is well defended? Well the great thing about using the pick and roll is that there are counters to everything. So let's look at a read you can make if that corner pass is not available. Alright, let's go back to school and test that basketball IQ once again. On this play as Halliburton comes off the middle ball screen left, should he A. Hit Turner for a dunk, B. Skip to Neesmith in the corner for a three, 
or C, throw back to Buddy Heald? In this case, the easy answer should be A, and Tyrese makes the right read. This counter is all about reading the weak side defender, who either plays off of the corner or hugs his man in the corner. In this case, McCollum is completely attached to Kyrie, worried about the skip pass, so Luka nonchalantly places it in the bread basket for a Powell layup. Luka has to read James Booknight, who starts shifting out to the corner too soon, yet again leading to the easy lob for Powell. By the way, Booknight cooked me in high school. Halliburton comes off the slip middle pick and roll with a head of steam, sees that Dame isn't quite in far enough, and smartly uses his eyes to get Nurkic in the air, leading to an easy Isaiah Jackson stuff. The Mavericks run a little Spain action so no one bumps Powell on the roll, which lets him get a head of steam as Svi Mikhailuk hesitates as to whether or not to help, so Luka just flips it up to the rim and Powell stuffs it home. Tyrese uses the uphill ball screen here going downhill, and CJ is actually in decent position, but because Halliburton throws the drop off pass so early, Miles Turner can accelerate to the rim for an uncontested dunk. In my senior year at Colgate, my big man Keegan Records and I would be really successful in the pick and rolls, and I think the main reason for that was because at all times we had at least three elite shooters on the floor. I'm talking about guys who shot 45-50% to 50 from three. As you can see in these clips, defenses would be so scared to help in off anyone on the perimeter that Keegan would just get easy layups. These passes might already be in your bag, or you might not have known how to make these reads. I think this is why it is so important to watch film, to really get a sense of what the best players in the world do. And if you want more film breakdowns, let me know in the comments what you struggle most with in games. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate a like. It really helps me make better content for you. And also, go check out this video if you want to learn another way you can increase your basketball IQ.